this was me at the start of the year and this was me after a five month bulk. I gained a decent amount of strength and I felt completely different. I literally love the process of getting stronger, enjoying my workouts and just doing something for me every day. So after maintaining over summer and juggling moving house recently, I've decided it's time to get back to it. I'm not going to be putting as much pressure on myself this time because I really just want to go with the flow and do what feels right for me. And I'm not trying to gain a crazy amount of muscle. But what I do want to do is have a goal which I can work towards and use as motivation over the next few cold months. So here are my starting stats, weighing at just over 65 kilos. Starting from today, I'm aiming for 2,305 calories 140 grams of protein, 65 grams of fat, and 290 grams of carbs. I don't have a step goal and I don't have a cardio goal. Workout wise, I'm aiming for four workouts a week and I'm going to be following a upper lower split. Then I'll just reassess every week depending on how I'm feeling. I hope this video and me starting this journey helps and inspires as many of you as possible to begin your own journey, whether that's fat loss, muscle gain, or just to have a healthier lifestyle. Over the next few months, we're going to be doing this together. So let's make a plan and get working on our goals. I am finally committing to my second ever bulk and I'm scared. <laughs> no, I'm actually really excited. I had such a positive experience from my last bulk. It honestly just made me fall in love with training again. And I just want to have that feeling again. I feel like having a goal just gives you so much purpose day to day and just makes everything so much more fun and just really gives you a sense of motivation, which is exactly what I need right now. We are heading into to winter it's already so cold like this morning i woke up and i was freezing the heating has got on so i just need something to get me out of bed and i thought why not start a bulk again so at the start of the year in january i did my first ever bulk and i actually bulked for five months from january to may i was slowly increasing my calories i got my calories up to like over i think it was like 2700 and i was training four times a week I saw incredible progress in my physique and I was so happy with how I was looking. I then did a, I think it was around a four to five week mini cut just to feel good for the summer because when you bulk, you obviously get a little bit fluffy and I did exactly that and I got to a good place and then just kind of maintained over summer and I haven't really tracked a calorie since. Now we are basically at the start of November and I feel like I'm ready to go back into a bulk again, but this time I have a little bit more time on my hands and I don't want to kind of rush it. I just want to make sure that I'm staying relatively lean whilst doing it because I just really because the main reason for me doing this to be honest is just to really enjoy my training to get stronger to feel really good and like I said just to have a purpose so if you're someone that is struggling with motivation or maybe you're not sure what to do over the winter period and you think you'd want to maybe grow your glutes or tone up a bit then maybe you should join me on this journey and i'm just so excited to share it and take you all along with me so today is wednesday the 25th of october we are officially starting our bulk today I have no plans in terms of how long I'm going to do this for, but I do know it is going to be for a while because if you've done it before and if you didn't know, but gaining muscle is actually a really hard process. It's actually so much harder compared to dieting. And personally for myself, I find it a lot harder compared to dieting. It's kind of at that stage where you really enjoy it at first, you enjoy the extra food, but then as calories start to increase even more and even more, it kind of gets to a point where you get bored of the food. But I actually don't really want to get to that point in this bulk. I don't think I might get carried away, but I just want to make sure that I'm eating a good amount of food, but that I'm not forcing it down because I don't feel like that for me is enjoyable and that's not what I want to do. So yeah, we're just going to see how it goes. I know that my metabolism will increase a lot throughout this because from my previous experience, I got so hungry towards the end of it. Like I was on more calories and I was more hungry. And if I hadn't eaten in the morning, I was honestly the moodiest person in the world um whereas now i've kind of been eating probably around i'd say 1900 to 2000 calories over the last few months a day at a rough guess of course some days have been a lot higher and some days have been lower but 
I think my metabolism has definitely slowed down a little bit because I'm just not that hungry. So I need to really work on getting my calories up. And I have been really trying over the last few weeks. So I'm hoping um, my body's just gonna adjust very quickly. But today is day one, starting pictures done, starting weight done. I haven't taken any measurements and that's because I have moved house, hence why I'm sitting basically in a room that needs decorating. Um, but I am gonna take some starting measurements of my waist and my glutes just to keep a track of that. But if you are starting this journey too, make sure you also get your photos done because photos are so motivating. They helped me so much last time when I started my bulk because when you're gaining muscle, you don't really wanna go by the scales. Obviously the scales go up a bit and you don't wanna go by that. You wanna go by how you feel, how you look, how your training's going, like that's the most important thing. So make sure you make a log of it. I also need to order myself a new weight book for the gym. So I always write down my weights and I've run out of space, so I need to order one of those. Um, but yeah, starting calories at the moment are at 2,305. We have got 140 grams of protein, 290 grams of carb, and 65 grams of fat. And that's what we're gonna start with. I'm gonna be reassessing myself every single week. So I'm gonna be seeing if I need to increase my calories, if I need to maybe add another training session. Um, and I'm basically just gonna see how it goes. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated. And training wise, I'm starting off with four workouts a week. That's basically what I always do. But I've been debating whether to add in an extra glute day as like my four session because I love training legs and I currently do two leg days a week and then one shoulders, chest and tricep and one back and bicep. But I hate the shoulder day, I hate it. Um, I've actually got a shoulder injury at the moment, so it's a good excuse, but I hate it. Um, so I'm debating whether to change it, but again, I will update you guys for the moment, that's what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, today I've already had breakfast. Um, breakfast, as you saw, was, breakfast, as you saw, was 584 calories. I've also had a coffee. And, and now I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna head to the gym, and I'm gonna train legs. As it's the first episode of my bulk series, I wanted to run you through my current glute routine that I'm gonna be including once a week. So as I'm doing two leg days and two upper body days, this is gonna be one of my leg workouts. One of the things I really want to focus on is improving my hip thrusts and the glute drive is my favorite machine in the world. I just love it, it's so easy to set up. So I started off with eight reps and I did four sets and I just made sure that even if I didn't get the reps on the last set that I really, really push myself because that's the most important thing when it comes to a bulk that you really push yourself and you're not afraid to go to failure so i actually worked myself up to 140 kilos here which was really good for me because i feel like i've plateaued recently and that's another reason for why i wanted to start this bulk because i want to get out of this plateau and just absolutely fall in love with training again then i went into lying hamstring curls i was humbled by this machine the other day guys because all along, I've been thinking that I've been doing 100 kilos and I realized that it was in pounds. So that was very humbling. Um, however, feeling really strong with these. And again, I'm aiming for eight reps just because I really want to focus on strength, really making sure that I'm pushing my hips down. And I got up to 110 pounds, which was pretty good for me. So I'm just going to start to build on it from there. Then I went into dumbbell RDLs. Now I have a love hate relationship with these. I went through a phase where I absolutely despise them because they really hurt my back. But after a few adjustments and now using straps, I absolutely love them and I'm getting on with them really well. I've got no back pain and I feel like I have cured myself. So if you're someone that gets back pain from them, definitely look into it and straps have really, really helped me. So here I was doing eight reps and again, four sets because I am aiming for less reps at the moment. Just really focusing on my form and really focusing on that hip hinging movement, which is so important with these. Flat shoes is also a game changer. These bands are so good to use when it's your leg day because they're completely flat. Then last exercise were cable kickbacks, but turning my foot slightly outwards to target my glute need. Again, I absolutely love these at the moment. They're so good. Sometimes I do them at the start of my workout and sometimes I do them at the end of my workout. This time it was at the end. And in terms of like the weight, it really depends on how I'm feeling that day. But this day I got up to 20 kilos quite nicely. Don't be afraid to push yourself with these. I stand on a plate because then it gives me a bigger range of motion and it allows my bottom leg to swing a little bit. And that was my workout. 
that was actually such a good leg workout oh i'm actually so happy with that Do you know what like since kind of moving away from london and actually being in a gym that i really enjoy being in everything's just been so much better the gym in london that i was going to it was fine and it was a really good gym but it was just so busy like i was having to queue up to get on the machines i wasn't able to do the plan that i wanted to do and yeah, i don't know i kind of just fell out of love with training and i think that's why i also want to do this bulk as well because i also want to find like my love for it again even though i feel like i already have but i think it's just great to have a goal so yeah like since kind of starting um training at this gym as well i've actually been really dulling down my leg workout so instead of doing like six or seven exercises i've actually only been doing like four or five and i've been finding it so much better my progress has been way better like my strength's been going up um i don't feel like rushed and i actually feel like i look forward to it more because i feel like there's nothing worse than knowing you've got to go to the gym and get get done like hundreds of exercises it's just not motivating so i feel like this is your sign make sure your workouts are not ridiculously long make sure they're not ridiculously stupid in terms of the exercises that you're doing and also just make sure you're really enjoying it and that will really help in terms of like your progress hello hello little post-workout snack well i decide what i want for lunch these are fruit crunch per biscuit they're 72 calories but i actually really like them quite a good carb source so I was actually meant to have lunch about an hour and a half ago when I got back, but then something arrived and I can't wait to put it up later. But this is why I've kind of been putting off starting my bulk because I've just got no structure at the moment, guys. But I'm hoping that starting this is gonna give me the structure that I need. And this is why I always say to people, when you are like struggling for motivation or when you're just not knowing really what to do, give yourself a goal, whether that's a holiday, whether that's just to gain muscle, whether that's just to have um, lift heavier in your back, squat whatever it is give yourself a goal and keep it in your mind every single day because that is what's going to get you there um but anyways yesterday i made the best lunch ever i put it on my story and i had so many questions and i actually made too much of the main product product the main ingredient maybe so i'm actually gonna make it again because i don't have a lot of time and i want to get my lunch in so i can do a little bit of work so i'm actually gonna make a barbecue chicken pizza now this isn't an ordinary barbecue chicken pizza because i was in sainsbury's and i've been getting bored of just eating chicken breast i don't know i feel like i have one food item and then i get really bored of it so i picked up some chicken mints and it was the heck italia one and i cooked it off in a pan and i added this barbecue sauce to it so this is like barbecue chicken mince. And then I got a flatbread, added more barbecue sauce, peppers, onions, cooked chicken, cheese, air fried it for 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, it's the best thing ever and we're gonna make it again. Also, Kieran bought these new knives. I'm scared to use this knife. It is so sharp. I can't even tell you. I'm gonna show you how easily this cuts a pepper because it is scary. I don't even want to use it, but I'm gonna just show you for the video. So if I cut myself, you guys are holding me accountable. I have not used that knife yet because it is that sharp and I'm waiting for it to be slightly blunt because I'm scared. I am the type of person to cut my finger off and that knife, it's just, we don't go together. Okay, look at this, right? I did not press down on that one. Like I literally, that was like butter. Like it is, do you know what? I'm actually just scared to even, I have never ever in my life, like what on earth is that knife? Oh my God. Two flatbreads. You just gotta be a bit careful that they don't snap in half. A little bit of barbecue sauce. And then the cooked chicken mix. Honestly, it looks like dog food, but tastes unbelievable. I get the cheddar and mozzarella mix. Literally, it's the best. And then I just pop them in the air fryer for around, it's about six to eight minutes to be honest, at 180 degrees C. So I know I just guesstimated the cheese and the portions and stuff, but this had two portions left in it, so I just divided it. And when it comes to like bulking, you've got to remember that it's about eating more food. So I always just guess, and I know that I'm gonna be 
under any as in like I know I'm always going to be having more than what I'm guessing so yeah it's just about being aware of what you're eating and I always feel like bulking you don't have to be 100% to it it doesn't matter as long as you know you're eating enough you know that you're fueling yourself you know that you're really prioritizing protein you'll honestly be absolutely fine so yeah don't overcomplicate it and don't feel like you have to track religiously every single day because you do not um but yeah in this meal there are 511 calories and 40, 4 grams of carb, 14 fat, and 50 grams of protein. And I track mine all on my app, Elevate, because it is the easiest thing ever. And I find that using this helps me so much with meal ideas as well. Dun, dun, dun. They look burnt, but they're not. And there we go. There are my chicken barbecue pizzas. They look really good, don't they? And those bases for flatbreads are such good calories. To be honest, I'd rather sign a bit more high calories, but I'm having two because I can. Yum! Guys, I did that the other day and they literally went straight over the body. <laughs> Anyways, look how good this looks. Mm-mm-mm. So good. Do you know what? I think some people think when you bulk or when you're dieting, you have to eat completely different foods and you don't. It's just about the amount of foods that you're having. If I was dieting, I'd probably only have one of these. Maybe like some potatoes on the side because you get more bang for your buck with potatoes. So yeah, it's just about being smart. And it comes in time because you don't know that when you first start, but you definitely learn it. So yeah, just be patient and don't cut any foods out because you can still enjoy your fave foods. And my gorgeous console table is finally in. It's got like these really nice like brassy bits in it, but I'm so excited to decorate it. Guys, little things like this make me so happy at the moment. I honestly can't believe how dark it's getting. Like it's not even five o'clock and it is dark in this house. I don't like it. This is why we need goals because otherwise, if I had a job where I had to go out and work, I'd find it so hard to go to the gym after, especially when it's so dark. So honestly, hats off to any of you that do that because it is very difficult. I'd 100% have to be a morning gym person if I had to do that. But anyways, guys, I am gonna leave this video here because because I need to go and do some work. But I hope this inspires any of you to also start your journey this winter. I don't even want to say winter yet because it's not winter yet. But yeah, I hope it inspires you to start your journey. And if you're thinking about going on a bulk as well, I hope it helps you. And we are in this together. I'm so excited for the next few months. And I have so many ideas for videos and stuff. But if there's anything that you want to see in particular, let me know and I'll try and get it done. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching episode one of my muscle gain journey 2.0. And I'll see you at the same time next week. Bye, guys.